one last ride. Time for one last ride, dang it! Hello friends, Steve Dangle here on the Sportsnet YouTube channel, and I hope every day is the best day of the week for you. And today, we have the final, final Steve's Dang It's Ever, presented by Advil. This one is special. Producer Nick and the Sportsnet social team cooked this one up. The Dangies! The biggest Dang It's of the season. Over 7,000 of you voted for these awards, and all the votes were tabulated by producer Nick's girlfriend because he can't do math. That's a sh that's shameful. I can't either, bro. I get it. Who had the worst own goal of the season? Would any goaltender tend the goal? And would someone get hit in the We find out the answer to all of those now. I said Nick. What are you going to do? Fire me? You have no power here. We have six categories, and this is category number one, the own goal of the year. Here are your nominees. Jakob Silverberg. Yeah, right here. Silverberg. Alexander Romanov. And this shot was going way wide. Sam Bennett. I don't believe it. And Dante Fabro. Intercept by Fabro, and then he runs into Soros. And the winner is Sam Bennett of the Florida Panthers. Family and friends in town, other players in the league, of course. Oh my, it's off the Panthers and in the net. I don't believe it. It went off Sam Bennett's stick and right into the Panther net. It's 2-1 Boston. You don't see that very often. Centering pass. And all Sam Bennett was trying to do was just deflect it out of harm's way. Sam Bennett had a pretty noteworthy season. He definitely had a noteworthy playoffs. His career jumped up a notch when the Florida Panthers fought and clawed. Oh, it's a pun, you see. It's a pun, producer Nick. They clawed their way to the Stanley Cup final. And while personally, I am surprised that the own goal of the year did not go to the guy who got hit in the <laughs> Sam Bennett's is the one that took the most skill. This goal would have been skillful if he meant to do it on the other net. And ironically, if it had been done on the other net, would they have reviewed it for high sticking? I feel like you can't review it on an own goal because they're like, uh, go ahead? But Sam Bennett, a sincere congratulations to you on the own goal of the year. That's a dang it. For our next dang it award or dangy, or we never did decide it. Did you make dangy graphics? Did you? Then I'm just gonna call them the dang it award if you didn't. For our next award, we have tumble of the year. A reminder that skating is hard, especially for me. As for our nominees, they are some of the best skaters in the world, so let's laugh at them falling down. And the nominees are Brett Kulak. Down he goes. That's twice we've seen him heel pick like that. Eric Carlson. Carlson catches an edge. Jacob Markstrom. I have a feeling he might be nominated twice. <laughs> he just plain ordinarily falls. And Connor Murphy. A swing and a miss. Wow, what a deep field, am I right, folks? But there could only be one winner for Tumble of the Year, Eric Carlson. For Barabana, up high for Carlson. Carlson falls and Shaw's off to the races. He has Dewar with him. Shaw, Dewar, scores! Eric Carlson catches an edge and goes down. Shaw settles his puck down, waits, sees Dewar coming. And watch Reimer, he thinks he's going back. The number most people associated with Eric Carlson this season was he reached 100 points, but I got a number for you. Over 39% of voters for Tumble of the Year voted for Eric Carlson to have the Tumble of the Year. Jacob Markstrom, close, but not that close. A little over 31%. Eric Carlson, take a bow. That's a dang it. For our third dang it award, we have the turnover of the year. Now we gotta get specific about this because if you're a goaltender, 10 the goal, the vast majority of those are turnovers. We're gonna leave the goalies alone for this one because they have their own category, spoiler. And if you've ever wondered how hard it is to be an NHL defender, all four nominees play defense, except for on these plays. And the nominees are Chris Letang. In the circle, Letang. Crosby in the... <laughs> Looks behind him, moves in and scores! Mikhail Sergachev. Who once again has made some key saves at key moments. Oh, here's a turnover, they score! Caleb Jones. 
tipped and taken away and a score. And Sean Dersey. A near turnover by Dersey. And he gave it away! Now that we've seen all our nominees, I just gotta say, this was by far the closest voting out of any of the awards. This was a tight field. But the winner for the worst turnover of the year with 36% of the vote, Mikhail Sergachev. Who once again has made some key saves at key moments. Oh, here's a turnover, they score! Radek Foxa with a short-handed goal. Just kind of changed his mind here, and I think tried to just wait a little bit, and when he looked up to see where he wanted to pass it, he had overskated the puck right in front of his own net. See, it's not on his stick. He's trying to look up the ice and decide who he wants to pass to, and he'd lost the feel. Watch him here, watch him react. He thinks he still has it, and whoops, inadvertently gives it right to Foxa. I mentioned it was a tight field, and it was. Sean Dersey with 29% of the vote. Chris Letang with 25%. D dude, that is visually a hilarious dang it. I'm very surprised that that one didn't get more votes. But there's something beautifully tragic about this Mikhail Sergachev turnover, like Ralph Wiggum having his heart broken by Lisa Simpson. He knows he's made a mistake. He sees the mistake happening. There's nothing he can do about the mistake happening. It happened. I'm sad. You know what? President's Trophy, Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup, and Eastern Conference title. Mikhail Sergachev simply could not end this season without winning an award. Here it is. That's a dang it. Took me a while to calculate that. I, I need an Advil for the headache. I, I did the integration! I did it! High five! Let, yeah! Oh, uh, what's, what's the next one? Should I do the next one? For our next dang it, I mentioned that the previous award for funniest turnover of the year had the tightest field. That is, of course, wrong. And that's a dang it. The tightest field was funniest dang it of the year. A very prestigious award. And the nominees for Funniest Dang It's of the Year are Tristan Jari. It's gonna negate the power play and Hyman is furious. Dribble it up. Hot Simbacho himself, Thomas Shabbat. Power play of 28th ranked power play. You see the... You see Soros. <laughs> and says your Joseph Bros. Who's Joseph Bros? Let's put off a wall for Pinto to the corner. Joseph gets clipped in the face, and that's gonna be a penalty. Joseph on Joseph. This is impossible of what I'm seeing right now. This only happens in Hollywood. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the Joseph Bros. I, okay, that's a dang it. Before I tell you the winner, there was barely over 4% between first and second place. The two competing for first and second place were Tristan Jari and Thomas Shabbat. With 30.9% of the vote, Thomas Shabbat finishes second. Meaning the winner with 35.16% of the vote for funniest dang it of the year, Tristan Jari. Again was tripped up, and that's gonna negate the power play, and Hyman is furious. Dribble it up, and now, Jari was coming off and collided with Dreisaitl. I think there might potentially be two here. Dreisaitl maybe two. No, and he's going to the bench. So obviously it's just the one. Here it is. Dig it in on McGinn. And he doesn't like it too much. He felt that he kept his stick down, but it certainly did bring him down. Then Jari and Dreisaitl collide there at center ice as Jari's trying to get to the bench for the extra attacker on the delayed penalty. I'm sorry, personally, the Joseph brothers what are the odds of that happening? The parents being there, getting their reaction, and, the, and like the special circumstances that they hadn't seen their sons play together because of, you know, the world and everything. Thomas Shabbat, I understand why you thought it was funny. I mean, I mean the instant panic. No, 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 you're okay, you're okay. Like he accidentally knocked someone over at recess. But for me, some of the humor is taken out of it because I'm like, ooh, dude. Like no one in that building wanted Travis Hamannick to be okay more than Thomas Shabbat. But the Tristan Jari thing is one of the most preposterous things I've ever seen. A goalie leaves his net, way out of his net. He's at the blue line, initiates contact with the player, and he goes down into the butterfly? Tristan. If you're a goaltender, flop, I guess it works. Oh, Tristan, you silly goose. You win Funniest Dang It of the Year. That's a dang it. Our next Dang It Award, of course, very near and dear to my heart. The best, if you're a goaltender, ten the goal of the year. There was an excellent 
crop to choose from. This must have been the most if you're a goaltender 10 goals of all time. Goalies leaving their net left and right to go get the puck like they're allergic to the crossbar. But in a very deep field, these four stuck out the most. Stuck out quite far. And the nominees are Karel Vimelka. Well, we just touched on it. You just got to chip away. Knocked away. Jacob Markstrom. Monahan tipping through. Markstrom out the challenge. Loose puck. He scores! Frederick Anderson. Clearing and not. Oh, now Anderson tries to make a fancy play. And Anton Hudobin. Things like that, they had to get. Whoa! An absolute gift. These are some good ones, and I would love to tell you it was close. This was a runaway with over 47% of the vote. Jacob Markstrom. Is underway. Tellus blames hockey on sports. Now, here's Monahan tipping through. Marks him out the challenge. Loose puck. He scores! Following up is Slavkovsky after Markstrom came way out of the crease. He had an open net, puts it home, and the 18 year old rookie comes back right here to Gooley. Watch this nice pass right onto the tape. And all of a sudden, Sean Monahan comes barreling through there. And Jacob Markstrom didn't think he could cover it with his glove. And he thought it's just best to sprawl out. You don't see that very often. And the puck goes right to Slavkovsky. No goalie across the NHL had more instances of if you're a goaltender, tend the goal. I know that because someone who listens to my podcast actually looked for it. The amount of times it led to a goal and the amount of times it led to a goal in a one goal game for a team that didn't end up making the playoffs. The Flames were above the Florida Panthers in the standings. Dude, Jacob, stay in your net, buddy. If you're a goaltender, tend the goal, and you win. The, if you're a goaltender, tend the goal award. That's a dang it. And now for the most consequential award, the playoff dang it of the year. And the nominees are Timo Meyer. Meyer all over Pesci, took it away. McLeod in front, leading. Great chance. Hughes across. Oh, Meyer put it through the crease. Stuart Skinner. It just missed Deneau. Deneau scores! Sebastian Ajo. Giving confidence to the island. Oh, it bounces in there! And collectively, the Boston Bruins. All Mark out of his net. Gives it away in the corner. Point in front. Loose puck. I'm sorry, producer Nick, there isn't a single Leafs dang it in there? Not one? Is existing a dang it? It, it could be. This one was a no-brainer. This one was no contest with over 63% of the vote. Your winner for biggest playoff dang it is the Boston Bruins. All Mark out of his net. Gives it away in the corner. Point in front. Loose puck. They score. Matthew Kachuk. There will be a game six, Friday in Florida, as Kachuk wins it 6.05 into overtime. No idea where it was. Now, the Bruins changed the defenseman. Puck's rolling right along the dash, and you can see the backhand. Shorty, how many times this season have I told you? Keep it in front of you. Keep it in front of you. And look at this backhand play. He's such a strong puck handler. Why he's trying that little feather backhand is beyond me. And it ends up costing. Three assists for Carter Verhage. Kachuk, the winner, his third of the series. Ironically, the Bruins dominated this vote with 63% of the vote, and that is not even how many wins they had this season. They had 65. It wasn't just an NHL record. They kicked that NHL record in the chest. The previous record was set just a few years ago by the 2019 Tampa Bay Lightning. They won the President's Trophy, record holders, and guess what? They lost in the first round. No way that happens to the Boston Bruins, said almost everybody in the world. The series starts, it's somewhat close. Meh, it's early. Series continues, the Bruins go up 3-1. The Panthers are dead in the water. Panthers win game five. All right, they stay alive, whatever. Bruins, can you finally end this, please? Game six, okay, I guess we're gonna go to game seven. And in game seven, the Bruins, up with about 90 seconds to go, blow the lead and the Panthers tie it. The game goes to overtime and the Panthers ice it. The 65 win record-breaking Boston Bruins blow a 3-1 lead 
in the first round to a team who backed into the playoffs because the Pittsburgh Penguins couldn't find it in their hearts to beat the Chicago Blackhawks. That is one of the biggest first round disappointments of all time. And that is the clear cut winner for biggest playoff, dang it. Boston Bruins, oof maroon, that's a dang it. So, hope you enjoyed the 2023 Dang It Awards, the Dangies. It was a fun one. Oh, oh boy. I want to give a huge shout out to producer Nick, who was riding shotgun all season long and also did a lot of work on these Dang It Awards and also his girlfriend because she can actually count and do math. And I also want to give a huge shout out to producer Drew, who helped come up with hat picks and dang it's and we 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 kept that together for a long time and built it into a thing but you built it into a thing you were like hat picks that's stupid dang it's that's stupid let's embrace it because why not why not all my colleagues at sportsnet especially my colleagues on the sportsnet digital team thank you for being so incredible to work with for nine amazing seasons and uh, i guess i should wrap it up so my friend it has been an honor but that is it for this thank you very much for watching click like if you like this video click subscribe if you really liked it tell all your friends to follow your dreams and if you're a goaltender tend the goal